More than 740,000 refugees from South Sudan have arrived in Uganda since July 2016. Such dramatic numbers are placing excessive pressure on state and host community resources and social services that are critical to children's well-being. More than a thousand children fleeing from South Sudan arrive in Uganda every day, making the region's refugee crisis a children's crisis. We don't intend to leave South Sudan, but now because of the the hard the, the hard conditions, the insecurity that is happening in our country, so we have to leave. So you can't stay there when you have seen a knife once to come and slaughter you. Can you stay where you there is a knife, very sharp knife? You can't. The United Nations is appealing for $8 billion in funding for both emergency response and resilience interventions to Uganda's refugee and refugee hosting population over the next four years. Within this appeal, UNICEF in Uganda requires nearly $50 million in 2017, as well as $30 million in each year from 2018 to 2020 to provide critical nutrition, sanitation, education and other child-protecting interventions to both refugee and host community children. That concept we had of being, for them being hostile, we kept away from them. We couldn't share certain things. We could you couldn't even move to their places because we kept we kept ourselves together because we never wanted any problem so with time we we saw them they were very good people they were not actually the people we thought they were unicef is also reiterating its call to governments to adopt its six-point agenda for action to protect refugee and migrant children and ensure their well-being which was launched ahead of the g20 summit in italy in late may maria galang cgtn